Oh my word. What on earth is going on here? I tried to watch something on, on the old laptop, baby ghoul. And and I was I was I was gonna put on Wishbone, the the the, the, the kids television show from Nostalgia. from the nineties, and you guys are here. Well, the nineties or eighties? It was not the eighties. It was like it was the probably 90s. Like, no, it had to be nineties. Yeah, yeah, Hello, everybody. Hello, Berna, Dave Brewer, Sam Diaz, Kylie Martin, Jim Jones. That's an interesting name. <laughs> They're probably <laughs> arguing. What the heck, Jim Jones? You are wrong. Who's arguing? I don't know. Austin D, Stoner Cat, Mocaine, Gray Gray, Billy Altman, Mary B, Lily Gardner, Jam Luke, Sarah, Mary, Nelson, Elvis Stooges, Bumper. I knew Bumper was going to be here. I just saw his post saying that uh, he was he was glad that it was on Sunday tonight. Today is Sunday. Alice. 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 Hi, Alice. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Dun, 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 dun. Inspector. Tim oh, C. Tim. Good hey, evening, Grims. And there's a little ghost there. Thank I love sweetie. it. Thank you very much, Tim. Tonight is a very special night. You see, this is the last ever Grim Up All Night that we are ever going to do. And you guys are a part of it. Mm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah, I got it. I'm so kidding. No, the the you can like those. Jeremiah. I didn't know that you could thumbs up when people do super I'm chats. Kidding, Kylie. So I, I kept chasing it on my screen because it kept moving and I kept missing it. People know that I lie all the time. Yeah. Some people are like rude. What? Some people are getting it. Some rude. People, I did this joke a couple couple weeks ago. I'm just kidding. We, we are, are here. To stay. Welcome to another night of grim up all night. night. Basically, if you're old enough to remember USA Up All Night, hosted by Gilbert Gottfried or Rhonda Shear. I'm not her. And I'm not Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Got an email from Gilbert once, and it was not very pleasant. No, but it's um, okay. Crazy story, crazy story. We play movies very similar to that. Well, actually, what you're seeing right now, what you're watching right now, is all you are going to be watching unless you know where the link to tonight's movie is. Tonight we are watching The Thing, a very, very spooky science fiction movie. And I was and seeing that... Earlier, while you guys were sitting in the lobby, that this is the first time some of you guys are seeing this, and I'm so excited for yes. you. Yes. Uh, it is a good one. It is a good one. You, if, you, if you're sitting next to somebody, like a loved one, you're probably going to want to cuddle up with them because it is mm -hmm. cold. Laserdisc queued up. Chris Gray, I Yay, freaking, freaking love you. I don't even think we have this on Laserdisc. Ooh. Now, in order for tonight, well, we're, we're going to wait a little bit. There's 381 people here. I don't think we have the thing on Laserdisc. Chris, if you ever want to get rid of yours, we want it. We have quite a bit of I Laserdisc. keep a list of everything we own because we accidentally buy duplicates. Yes. Dark Shadows, I made it. Did you miss me? Of course we missed you. Of course we missed you. We have some news for those of you who are joining us. As you start rolling in, we're going to tell you the rules of the watch party. We don't have it. The rules of the watch party, as well as news. And then the watch party begins in about 25 minutes. So we just allow people to show up. We get acclimated. It's like whenever you go to a movie theater, you don't just walk in and go, okay, the movie started. Let's do this. You... At least I, at least we, when we go see a movie, we need to be there about 15 to 20 minutes before minimum things start. Yes. So we can get into our seats, yeah. our butts leave a perfect impression mm -hmm. into the seat. We got our popcorn, yeah. whatever, and the dogs. Sour, Sour Kush. Kush Thank cats. you, sweetie. Thank you. Welcome. So that's what we do here. Oh, and before we, we start, I just want to say this really quickly. Thank you, everybody, for all the birthday wishes. If you didn't know it was my birthday earlier in the month, that's okay because it's my birthday month. Yeah. See, we here at the Grim Life Collective, we celebrate things a little bit differently. We don't do birthday cakes. We don't go out and do ice cream. We don't got cupcakes. We don't go to, like, birthday parties. No. Instead, any time that there's a birthday in our household or a holiday comes up, we try to get like the best darn dinner that we can yeah. get at that moment wherever we are and we celebrate. And for birthdays, instead of having a one day, we have birthday Hi, months. Rachel. So, South of Sanity Candles. Ah, welcome. Welcome to the Ghost to the Club. Afterlife. We're glad that you are here. We have been, been expecting, expecting you. you. But you think, I mean, 
<laughs> Thank you, everybody. There was a lot of messages online. Hot nerd, 84. Michael Thank shared you. it. I shared it. There was a lot of comments. I couldn't get back to everybody. And Thank I tried to me, put Dave. out a blanket. Thank you. So in case you missed the thank you, here it is in person. Thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Thank you so much. Hot nerd. Thank you so much. Uh, Angela, Lisa Frankenstein is out on DVD. We got it on Blu-ray. Sadly, there's no 4K release of it. Mm. We bought it as well. And it's a great movie. If you haven't seen Lisa Frankenstein, go check it out. Okay. For those of you in attendance, there's 466 people in here. Welcome. It is a Sunday. Uh, who here is a grim, up, all night virgin? Put your hand down, liar. Who here? Is this the very first ever grim up all night watch party? Put your hand down. <laughs> I just want to feel included. Is it going to make you smile if you put your hands up? There you go. Oh, look at you. There you go. There you go. Like a Barbie. All right. For those of you that this is your very first grim up all night watch party, we do our watch parties a little bit different. Some people get mad. Some people get a little sad. Some people are happy. Some people watch the movie. Uh, this is how we do it. This is how. All right. This, this is, is good. We, we started know. watching retro videos on YouTube and it's yeah. like stuck in our head in a bad way. All right. So the watch party tonight. Rules. The rules. One, be kind. Be nice. Be, be friendly. Kind. Rewind. We appreciate every single one of you guys watching the videos, but we have zero <sighs> tolerance for people who make fun of other people or... Whatever. So we, we 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 have no problem booting you. Just have fun. Just have fun. If you're inappropriate, I'll block you. Yes. That's the biggest rule. The biggest rule. The second rule is this. Tonight's watch party is always free. Our videos are always free. The, the link to tonight's watch party, which is the thing, is pinned to the top of the chat, as well as in the description of the video that you're watching right now. Or there, depending on where your where the, your chat is, exactly. it's pinned to the top. It says tonight's free watch party. It is on Tubi. You, I don't think you need to create an account on Tubi to watch it. Um, if Not you own it on Laserdisc, Blu-ray, DVD, VHS, um, 4K. Is it on 4K? Do we have it on 4K? I think we yeah. have it on 4K. I don't know. Um, feel free to put it in. We're gonna watch it. Got don't it. watch it just yet. We're going to like. Do a countdown and watch it. But in order for tonight's watch party to work, you need to make some magic happen. Lee the Machine. Happy Aunt Halloween. Hope you had an amazing we birthday. We do have it on 4K. Heckins, yes. Uh, happy it's birthday from Lee the Machine Bowers. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm not talking thank like you. magic with a loved one. I'm talking you need two devices to make this watch party to work. <laughs> one to watch us like you're watching right now. And one to watch the actual movie. Now, you could say, screw the movie. I don't like horror movies. I don't like the thing. I don't like Kurt Russell. I don't like the snow. And Thank I don't like what Goodman. they do to a dog. Instead, I'm just going to watch The Grimms. No problem. Or you could say, I hate The Grim Life Collective. I saw that they're playing The Thing. And I'd much rather watch that. You can. Just turn us off and pull up The Thing and enjoy yourself. Either way, we're here to have fun. And if you're like me... And you started eating all your snacks before the movie started and drank all your drink before during the previews. And now the movie started and you have to pee. Uh, do it now. Yes. I, I, she's gone. She's gone. Chris Gray, we're going to talk about the uh, Ghost Club next watch party. It, it, it's not a watch party. We don't do watch parties for, for the Ghost Club members. We do a Ghost Club member hangout only. And that is coming this week. Uh, we're going to talk about that here in just a minute. Here to break the rules, Cas 662 don't do that. I have zero patience, zero tolerance. Love you. But I'll quickly say goodbye. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Any questions on how the watch party works? Speak now. Ask your questions. Some of you guys are going to come in and say, hey, where's the link? Um, you're not going to see the movie on here for copyright reasons. Mm -hmm. I know other people do it and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We keep it separate for ease of options. Um, it's pretty self, pretty, pretty easy. For most people, if you look at the chat box, the movie link for you is highlighted in white yes. at the top of your chat box. Yeah, if you just have your phone, Carrie, you can just watch the movie. You can just hang out with us. Or, you ready for it? When this is over, you can go back and watch the movie for free. I mean, it's the link is always going to be there. All right. 
Kylie, Christina, you brought up something awesome. I'm so excited for the tombstone pins. Now, as for the news, we have about another uh, 20, 19 minutes before the movie starts. So now let's kick in the news. Um, itchy nose. Why is my itchy nose? Our last watch party, we said that we were going to open up our shop Oops. this past week. Th some things happened. We weren't able to get it open, so it is going to open in July, like originally planned. So if you guys are looking out for that that special code for Ghost Club members or the pins, uh, you're going to have to wait. I'm so sorry. Shannon, Shannon happy uh, Halloween. How was the visit you, with your mom? Heart. It was Here's really great. Here's some electric travel money. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Safe you. Thank you so much. Me, me like that. It was it was really good. It was good to see my mom. It was her first time in California. Um, we took her you to Disneyland it, for the first time. So we had a really, really great visit. It was it was wonderful. Thank you so much. So thank you. Uh, the store is gonna open up right around my birthday in July. July 12th is my birthday. And the pins, the tombstone pins, happy birthday to you. Uh, are limited edition. Mm -hmm. We only made a certain amount of them. Mm -hmm. And once they're gone, they are never going to be made again. Mm -hmm. Now, I say this like this. Our plan is to, once these are sold, once these are gone, we're going to make another tombstone pin. And then once those are gone, we're going to have another limited, ed limited edition pin. So basically, if you were to collect all of the Tombstone Grim Life pins, like some of you guys collect the t-shirts every color, you will have a cemetery of Grim Life collective pins. So yeah. some of them are going to be crosses. Some of them are going to be big. Some yeah. are going to be small. They might have our faces on them. They might have something else. There might be a tombstone that says that's bad booty or a, a coffin. It's going to be cemetery theme so you can yeah. have a pin board and have all of our pins on there it's gonna be yeah. kind of neat we're kind of excited about it also we have the ghost club uh merchandise coming as well also that little link that's on the top of the website that says haunted garage sale we're not doing that we're taking that away. That was just the thought. Something we we're going to do, but we're, we decided not to. It's too much craziness. It's a lot. It is a lot. I'll do something on my own, but it will not be connected directly to our website. So it's going to be something that is going to be kept yes. separate. Mary B. Thanks for Mary. so much for my birthday cameo. You're more than welcome. Aww, I love it. Yay. Happy to be a ghosty for a year. Woot. Awesome. Thank you for being a ghost club member for 12 months. How does it feel to be part of the afterlife? A spectral being, if you will. Uh -huh. Now, some of you guys have noticed these little people popping up. Little people, because it's like no, right I don't there. Know that it says Ghost Club cool. members for 12 months. Green. Ghost Club members. They're highlighted in green, and they got this little albino ghost at the very end of their name. We have a club. Now, keep in mind, all of our videos are always free. Our lives, like tonight, are always free. Look at this. But if you wanted to become a Ghost Club member, if you wanted to become a ghosty, Join the afterlife, if you will. It's a membership on YouTube. You get early access to all of the videos. For instance, once this video ends, this live oh, video. <laughs> People are dying to get in. Right? Once this live video ends tomorrow morning, the video that's going to be coming out tomorrow morning for the public is going to be live for you guys. So right before I hit end, I'm going to start it. You guys are going to be able to watch it. It is a filming location video oh, yay, from a very popular, one of the most popular horror movies ever to be made. It's a filming location for it, and it's pretty big. Um, it'd be live for Ghost Club members only. Mm -hmm. For the public, if you're not a Ghost Club member, it'll be tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we say this all the time. Do not feel like you have to join or spend money or anything like that. All of our videos are always free. But if you want to help out the Grim Life Collective in any way, shape, or form, there are ways to do it. And one of them is to become a Ghost Club member like some of you guys have been doing. Uh, Janine. No spooky swap meet. Welcome we'll to the going. afterlife. We're glad that you are here. We've been expecting you. Da -da -da, no spooky da -da. empire either. Um. We have GrimLifeCollective.com, which is our store where it's t-shirts and prints and stickers and magnets and patches. That's going to be open again in, 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 in July. But, hey guys, hope you had, had such an awesome experience.
to meet you. Thank you, Nico Pluto. Very your success. Well done. Happy Halloween. Thank you, Nico. If you want to help out the Grim Life Collective in any way, shape, or form, in the description of every single one of our videos are our official links. Official. That's the way to do it. Um, some people have ordered cameos where we send you a personalized video message. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Above all, just have fun. And just know that we love that you're here. Uh -huh. Did I say everything I needed to say? Mostly. I think yeah, so. We'll touch on it later. We'll As touch on it, up, isn't it? You, we, we have some regulars in here. If we miss everything, you guys can fill people in if they have questions. So, Ghost you know, Club members... See all the comments only merchandise coming yeah. this July. In order to get access to that part of the website, you have to be a Ghost Club member. You'll get emailed a little code. Um, and we go live once a month just for you guys. There's 528 people in here right now. Hello. The Ghost Club member hangout. There may be like 20, 30, sometimes it gets a little higher. Kenneth, welcome to the Ghost Club. Spooky, spooky. Boo. You gotta, you gotta practice saying boo now that you're a member of the afterlife. Um, this week, probably Tuesday, we are going to go live for Ghost Club members. Tuesday night, eight o'clock. I know some of you, depending where you are, it's not the greatest time in the world. They will be Tuesday night for the set, Alice. Yeah. They come. It's weekend. Eee! We're stupidly excited. About that yeah, this is the second time that we've been to this one it's actually in edison new jersey if you're watching this and you don't know about it edison new jersey there's a, there's a horror convention called new jersey horror con we are going to be there the cast of hocus pocus is going to be there kane hotter is going to be there there's going to be amazing people and so are we if you're in the area please come out and say hello we'd love to see you yeah a little bit of feedback there through through youtube but it looks like it's bouncing back what is the video was glitching a little bit. Uh -oh. Me too. So I have you guys here on my tablet so I can see what you're experiencing. And uh, on my end, it's, it's bounced back. So hopefully it has for you guys too. Sorry, guys. Uh, Sometimes YouTube just gets tired. May 1st. May 1st. Follow the finger. I'm checking all of your eyes. May 1st. Mid June. We are. And we have a lot of create. If you if you like the video that we put out from our previous trip to Europe, this is going to blow your socks off. And if you don't wear socks and you wear sandals or flip flops like this one over here, um, it's going to blow your toes off. So make sure you have some gauze to 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 and something hot to cauterize that because your your toes are going to go poof. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying all that. Uh, now my toes. It is kind of glitchy. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, Actually, if it's still glitching for you guys, you might have to exit out and come back in because our end, everything smoothed out already. Yeah. So it might just be that you have to exit and come back. Sometimes that's the only way to fix it. Coming back. So New Jersey Horrorcon, we're doing a show in Sheffield, May 11th and 12th. <laughs> May 11th and 12th, if you're watching this from, from England and, and you're in the area, May 11th or 12th in Sheffield, we're going to be doing a show there, HorrorCon UK. 30 for the set, Alice. We're doing another show, this time in Mesa, Arizona. We're doing, uh, what, what's that? Gathering of the Gathering Ghouls. Gathering of the Ghouls. Scarefest in Lexington, Kentucky. All that out. we're doing some more, but we can't yeah. announce them just yet. I'll do another list. There's a lot of a lot of crazy stuff coming. Then and then we are we we have something very special coming this Halloween. Ooh, pardon me. Take so me <sighs> no days of the deads in October. No. No. If it wasn't in the list that we just mentioned, then it, we won't be there. We might show up at a Days of the Dead, kind of sneak in, not on the roster, yeah. but just kind of sneaking in because we're going to be in the area. Of, Sometimes we still try to get our own signatures. Yeah, like we're, we're horror fans too. So I think in Houston for Days of the Dead. <laughs> so we might stop in for one or two days to the show, not as guests, but just kind of get in get some autographs for our own posters and then get back mm -hmm. out in the desert and film. You never know what line you'll find us in. 
even when we have our own table, even when we're appearing at some places, when the IP, we've run into a lot of you guys in those lines to collect our own things. We have a lot of things we want to get signed. So you know what celebrities line you're going to find. Is James C. P.O. Box number to send Beetlejuice gift from the original. Uh, again, in the link, in the description of every single one of her videos, including this one, you will find all of her official links. And there we also have our uh, P.O. Box address. And I have to tell people, it says, send us something strange and unusual. Please do not send us anything dead. <laughs> no, please don't. Somebody sent us a, a, a box, and inside the box was a tightly tied black trash bag. And I was like, what is this? And inside was root kill. Root kill. So do not yeah. send us that. They didn't come yeah. home with us. It went back. No. Yeah. So, they thought we were taxidermists. It wasn't a threat or anything. But they, they honest to God, thought we were tax. We did taxidermy at home. No and, sending anything dead. Uh, yeah, we, we are not. Michael, what was your favorite piece from Jason Egan's incredible collection? It was the hall it was the um the haunted mansion chair. Right. That and the the test makeup for Interview I, with the Vampire. I just I love Eddie Murphy's Haunted Mansion and that little I the new one was okay for me. I didn't fall in love with it, but I still am madly in love with the first one, so Oh yeah, oh yeah, the big big thing. Um on Tuesday, the Rondo Hatton Horror oh, yeah. Awards end. So you can only vote once. So if you already sent the email voting for us, don't disregard what we're saying. That's alive either, Aaron. Please You're, don't put that thought in people's heads. Yeah. Uh, you can only watching this, please, in the description of this video in particular, this following my finger, an yeah. eye test. Um, in the description of this video, you're going to see it, there's a little section that says Rondo Hatton Horror Awards. Please vote for us. And it tells you how it's a simple email. All you got to do is put down two things and send that right now to stop everything. Send it. And we're up against like some pretty amazing people, <laughs> including the amazing Mick Garris. And I'm telling you what, if, if, if we win an award over the amazing Mick Garris, I, I don't know what I would do. I mean, holy heck, it's, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. it'd be really cool. Please send us a just stop everything. Send us the email. You can only do it once. Thank only you, one email. Everyone who has voted, we really appreciate it. Yes, thank you, Tim thank C, you so and everybody much. else. Yeah. The link, Doug, is in the description of the video that you're watching right now. So either make a note, pull it up somewhere else, pull it up, just send it. We got like another five minutes before the movie starts. Thank you, Candace. Thank you, Sarah. I wish that. Uh, I, I wish that we could see how many people voted for us because I, 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 yeah, it's I not have a lot live of like, voting. It's, yeah. So we don't know. <sighs> it's just, it's nice Thank to you, be Karen. nominated. Right? Also, like, yeah. When we didn't even know, one of our, our somebody our, told us, yeah, somebody told us, yeah. it was like, hey, congratulations. I was like, what the heck are you talking about? And mm -hmm. they said, well, you've been, you've been um, nominated for, a horror award and it's not like an internet award where it's like best website or anything it's an actual mm -hmm. in the horror community it's a pretty big deal so we're, we're, we're hoping fingers and bones crossed yeah. thank you david bird i hope they tell us after because yes. they didn't tell us when we were nominated so uh hopefully thank we, you, we cool. find out but you know that i hear that right, happens Kaz? to a lot of celebrities too you know they don't even know when they're nominated for stuff and they're like oh well maybe Yes, you can only vote once, Hugo <laughs> Boss. Uh, and thank you. Um, I just wanted to make sure because some people show up, so you might not, have, you might not, you might not have did it. You might not have done it last time, but this is the last bit of it. This is the last time we're going to mention it. And I really feel like maybe we should have like really blasted it out across social media or put it like on a YouTube video. I don't know. We probably should have, but uh, we got a lot going on. All right. Got another couple minutes before the movie starts. Does anybody here have any any questions about how the watch party happens? Does everybody here know where the link to tonight's video is? It's in the description it's of this video, and it's highlighted as well. Yeah. Master Dick, <laughs> hope you guys are well, and thank you guys for every video you release as always. Wanted to ask if you guys got to check out the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror in Disneyland Paris. We did. We did. 
And we and, got to have like the most extreme version too. Yeah. It's cool. So we um when we were at Disneyland Paris. Which we, category are we in? Sorry. We asked if we could um Oh, it's best podcast. Look in the description. It tells you where it says, it says, um, send, send an email to this person and, um, put your name and write this. That's number 19 best podcast, the grim life collective. That's, that's all it is. Uh, so when we were at Disneyland Paris, we wanted to write in, the, we, we have a, we have a certain row that we like to sit in. Yeah. Uh, row six. And we asked if we could, Hey, can we sit in the, the row six? And the guy was like, yeah, but wait over here. And then we were like so excited. We we're like, tell him, oh, this is their first time riding it in Paris. We love this ride. And he's like, oh, we do, John. He's like, do you want to ride in like the slow elevator or do you want like the super like fast, like rigorous one, like the violent one? Yeah. And we're like, wait, they do all like they're all different. He was like, oh, yeah, trust me. Like this is this is so he put us on the fast, no, rough one. I and it was pretty, it was pretty intense. I, I know I'm that excited. I don't like coffee at its and it's without anything added to it. It's it's not the mixtures people put in. It no coffee company is going to get me to like coffee. I just hate coffee in general as a base flavor. So uh, <clears throat> and I do no, Starbucks. I'm not anybody else's? Mm-mm. I go to Starbucks quite a bit. Well, hi there, Ireland. He, yeah. Yes. He drinks coffee, but mostly like Starbucks trophies. Well, not really. So well, I, I sometimes drink like a black coffee. I, I go to Starbucks and I get one of two things. I get a, I, I get a venti cold brew with sugar-free vanilla syrup. Oh, in really, it. Henry? Or I do the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. That's the only, only thing I, I drink from there. <clears throat> okay. We we did not see Sting or Abigail yet, or the first Omen. We really want no. to though. We're really behind. I hate sitting in a theater where the person next to me is talking. Mm. That that keeps me from going to the theater. I think that they should have a strict rule that if you're not if you're not talking and you're disrupting other people, where where are the ushers that come in with the flashlight and says you need to be quiet or you need to leave? They don't That's really what we need. Do that anymore? That's I wish what we they need. Did. Yeah, because I mean, with the price of tickets nowadays, <clears throat> for someone to come in and talk throughout the entire movie like they're sitting in their their living room is ridiculous. Yeah, George, <laughs> hail San- Santa and Satan uh, from, from Tucson. Tucson. See you at the gathering of the goals. Yay! Can't wait to see them with my future bride. Congratulations! Awesome. Stopping the way to. Yeah. Oh, Disneyland Resort, Disneyland Resort for Halloween. For Halloween time. Time. Yay! Perfect, perfect. Awesome. You're really going to like it. If it's not your first time coming, you're going to be in for a really great te- treat. If you already have been, then you already know that. Oh, it is time. It is 8.30 Pacific Standard Time here in California. If you didn't know this, we live in Hollywood, California. Uh, the movie, we got it queued up. Everybody has it queued up. You got the laser disc getting yeah. ready. Some of you are probably already watching it right yeah. now, which is perfectly fine. We're going to watch it together. We're going to hit like a three. We're going to do a little countdown. Um, all right. Ready? Three. We do, Ricky. Two. One. Hit play. We are watching it on Tubi, one. which is a free service here in the United States. No, you don't have to have YouTube to vote. You just uh, follow. Yeah. You go to. All you got to do is send an email. Yeah. There's no link. There's no whatever. It's an email. The directions are in the description of this video that you're watching right now. It says send an email to this person. It has mm-hmm. the email address. Mm-hmm. And it says number one and number two. Write your name because the, the ballot asks for your name. So it's a yeah. real person. Yeah. Write your name. And then number two, I think it says 19 best podcast, comma, the Grim Life Collective. That's all you yeah. need to write. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris Gray, Tramp Stamp. If you get lost in the movie or if you're watching commercials or you want to make sure that we are synced up, again, follow my finger with your eyes. All you got to yell is Tramp Stamp. And we will tell you. The time code as to where we are in the movie. And everyone who's been complimenting my ears, thank you so much. Uh, they actually light up, too, if I can find it. Sorry, Ow! I didn't mean to hit you. Ha, ha, ha. Yay, they light up. But these are Disney official ears, but they were not something you I know, could buy David. in the park. Yeah. They were actually sold um, 
during Halloween time as part of one of the children's costumes, actually. One of the children's costumes that came with like the big skeleton hands and it came with a set of ears too. And I had to have it, had to have it because they, they, they should put just these out as regular ears, but you know. It's going good, Dustin. So they are Disney official, but not, they're not the ones you buy inside the parks. Yeah. Yeah. Although you could have during Halloween years ago. Because they sold those. Thank you, Fast today. and Furious 4L. If this is your first time watching this movie, and you're not sure about it being the right movie for you because you might be sensitive to guts, gore, and blood. Yeah, and there's a, this one's a doozy. Yeah, there's 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 a there's an animal scene. It's very realistic and it can get a little gross. So just fair warning for you there. This is uh this movie has a lot of practical effects. So there's no CGI. This was done way early on in the 80s. So it's very realistic, like in your face. Ricky Darrow yeah. asks, hey, Michael, have you got any autographs from the Lost Boys? We have an original Lost Boys poster, one sheet. Um, it's hanging oh. on the other side of this wall right over here. Um, we are going to take it down because when we go to New Jersey Horror Con next weekend, um, there's there's somebody there that's that's going it's going to be appearing there with us. That's I need. We need on there on the poster, so it's going to come with us. Practical effects is always the way to go. Lady the Machine Bowers. Yay, yay. Yesterday was the 40th anniversary for Friday the 13th. Final chapter. R.I.P. Ted White. Yay. <laughs> It's it's funny, like the I love, love the, the Friday the thirteenth movies, but I'm not like a diehard Friday the thirteenth fan. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who are like Friday the thirteenth is their I mean, people have their their stuff, right? Some people like scream and others don't. Oh, others like it goodness. not as much. Um my problem with Friday the thirteenth is I think I like them all to really kind of go, I like this one more, or I like this one the most. I like the whole series as whatever, but Friday the 13th Part 3 is cool. We don't have any Texas uh, confirmed yet, Lily, but we are working on one, so when we know, you guys will know. Yeah, we are working on one. If you haven't heard us confirm anything, then nothing is official yet. Yes. Michelle! Look at all those hearts. Tramp stamp. Those are mine. John and Seth. No, you don't get those no more. Yeah. You get the you get the green ones. Envy. <gasps> four minutes. And it says black flame. Four candle. minutes thirty-five seconds. Four it minutes thirty-five seconds. Thank you, Marjorie Allard. Thank you. You are just hitting I things left and right today. I hit stuff all the time because I'm klutzy. Thank you, Doyle Stogner. I think I said that right. Hey, hey, Michael, I got a question for you. This is Dustin. Um, of the movie, the thing. Which one did you love better, the movie, the thing, or the? I didn't even see the remake. Uh, I don't even know where re remake exists. I, I didn't even want to watch the remake, to be honest. Um, the original one. It's Carpenter. It's sci-fi. It's horror. It's Kurt Russell. Um, yeah, I didn't even watch the remake. Cotton Mather says, just watch The Curse, 1987. It scared me when I was 13. It is still creepy. Watch that on YouTube. Good film. Good film. Good film. Cotton Mather, I love that. <laughs> awesome. No, we're not going to Fan Expo in, in Dallas. Sorry, Chris. No. We don't get invited to things like that. Mostly we get invited to horror conventions, but we would be open to doing those kinds of things. It's just, I don't think we're on their radar. Yeah. So for instance, like, okay. Uh, we travel a lot. Our, our, our life is traveling and we're spending some time overseas and we don't drink coffee, Poulter Quinn. We, we're, we're leaving the country technically three times this year. <laughs> Yeah. Three times. Yeah. We only told you about one. 
but we're leaving the country three times this year. Oh, I see. They're saying that this is the remake. There was an original from the 50s. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. I okay. misread what I thought you guys were saying someone redid his version. Remake was a prequel. As like a more recent. I gotcha. Yeah. Look at all that snow. Oh, isn't he so cute? Jeff Burton, what are you doing here? He is a trucker. He could have could have been the same guy. True that. Maybe he did this before he became a trucker, and that's how he had all those um skills with the knives. Old Jack Burton. No, we haven't watched the Fallout show just yet. To be honest, we're, we're kind of like uh, binge-watching the Connors right now. <laughs> yeah. Sam Diaz. Tramp Stamp is 7 minutes and 20 Five we are seconds. still doing Mesa. Yeah, it's called Gathering of the Ghouls, put on by Terra Trader, and we will be there absolutely with a table full of merch and all that. Yeah. No, Jocelyn Saint Heart. What is Connor? The Connors. It's uh, it's not a. I want to say it's it's, it's the spinoff series from. The '80s movie or the '80s TV show Roseanne. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the family on without the matriarch, and it's 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 the story of the kids and and Dan and everybody like that. The Connors. Let's see. KJ33. I missed it. When can we get merch? Um, July. It's going to be in July. And then this fall, we are more than likely uh, going to... We have some help coming that's going to keep the store open all the time. Mm -hmm. And Angela, you know what? It's funny. Like, the Connors is depressing. Laugh, laugh out loud. Not the same as Roseanne. I actually... I actually think I like it better than Roseanne. I mean, don't get me wrong. Growing yeah. up, like I, I liked the show. I watched it. I'm familiar with the reruns. I saw the different shows. And I don't know if it's because of the nostalgia and all the different throwbacks that, that is filled throughout the, 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 the TV show. Mm -hmm. But I really like this actually a little bit better. Yeah. I, I feel like it's actually more lighthearted than Roseanne itself was, if that's possible. I mean, they've had some pretty, pretty adult themes in, yeah. in the Connors that I was just like, oh, wow. But. For the time, I would say that Roseanne was pretty adult then, but this was so long ago before that she really broke some barriers. Nico, thank you, sweetheart. Um, I was probably the same age as her kids when that show was on and had a very similar life to them, you know, growing up as a, uh, in St. Louis, a poor Midwestern family with the same struggles, same age as her kids and stuff like that. And getting a lot of the same treatment at school and all that sort of stuff. So it's interesting to watch it now with, again, I'm the same age as the kids, you know what I mean? A lot of nostalgia there. I wish half dollar, man. I would love to uh, do the from dust till dawn filming locations, but I don't think there's that much to see. Just the one cliff, isn't it? Well, okay, hold on a second. It was, it was so Grim Life goes to Mexico for a from from dust to dawn filming location. Are you talking about the half dollar one, the movie, the original or movie, the or show. the TV show? I like because if you're talking about the movie, we did do a From Dust to Dawn filming location video, and all of that was filmed here in California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of it is, yeah. Oh.
No, we don't have any collaborations with anybody anytime soon. We're just too busy. Mm. We're traveling. Like I said, we're leaving the country three different times this year and uh, another cross country road trip yeah. as well as flying into some things. So if, um, we have zero. Steven says the wife and I have been into late 90s, early 2000s slasher films. Scream. I know you did last summer, et cetera. What are some of your favorite movies from that era? Are some of your Oh, sorry, that line typed twice, but I got you. Some of our favorite films from the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm going to be real honest with you, man. I have no concept of time. It's so hard for me to remember uh, timelines. We had like Idle Hands. Oh, good one. Um, the Faculty. Good one. Um, different things like that, that 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 really stuck out to me. What was the name of the werewolf one? Was it Curse or Cursed? That was 90s. I don't know if it was late 90s. Oh, there's 90s. so many movies. Yeah, Urban Legend. Idle Hands was 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 phenomenal. Yeah, Urban Legend was good. Idle Hands Queen was of good. The Queen of the Damned was great. Well, it wasn't, but she was great. Um, Cabin in the Woods. Man, there's so many. Cursed. Cursed is terrible? <gasps> we can't be friends. <laughs> How you doing, Alice Martinez? Disturbing behavior. Yeah, curse with Christina Ricci. Yeah, it was. It was. It, if you grew Thank up you, John in that Gore. era or before that era, you can appreciate '90s films for what they were. Are they going to go down in history as the best films ever made? Absolutely not. But they are like the quintessential 90s. They have a specific flavor that nothing else has. And you got to appreciate that. Thank you, Swamp Water. <laughs> swamp Water. Uh, nice. It, 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 it's strange that like... I think we're at that age where... They're remaking movies that we grew up with. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, I know that Hollywood's been remaking movies for a long time. But it's like, when you start going, wait a second, they're remaking that movie. Well, they just put that movie out. Why are they remaking it? That means right. they, they are... Lots um, of those. Right? So it's like, uh, you mean, The Crow. I remember mm -hmm. seeing The Crow in the theater. Mm -hmm. That's coming out. Um, they're talking about remaking or, or doing a reimagining of the Blair Witch Project. I remember seeing that when Aww. that first came out. Lonnie, that's so sweet. So it's like, do you see what I mean there? It's like they're making movies that we grew up, like our movies, yeah. to the, a newer generation. Oh, they've been doing that for so long with a lot of others too. Yeah, I mean, it's been happening, but like, yeah. it's, it's one of those things where where you start, it, it's, it, it's like whenever you're, your local radio station has like the oldies and then you're, you pop it on one day and they're playing Nirvana and you're like, Whoa, wait, <laughs> insulting. Wait a second. Nirvana is technically an <gasps> oldies to some. Oh yeah. They're about to reboot Blair Witch. And I mean that that's one of those movies again, that, that hit something that nobody else was doing. <clears throat> it became its own phenomenon. And I don't think they need to touch it. They tried to make a second one and it was a piece of poo poo. It was terrible. You know, there was a... You couldn't even do the first one right. So CinemaCon was just happened this past week down in Las Vegas. We couldn't go to it this year. Um, but I was watching some of the, 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 the review <laughs> videos from it. And Joe Blow, J-O-B-L-O, -O, it's a, like a <laughs> DVD, like a movie reviewing thing. They said something very interesting about the Crow movie that I was like, wow, kind of opened my eyes. Um The movie The Crow that's coming out, I think they pushed it back even. Because uh, I got such bad feedback from the trailer. He, he was saying that, like, you know, not many people, so many people are mad about it and this and that. And it's not like the original. And like at CinemaCon, they said some things. It, it's, it's, it's The Crow for a new generation. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's, it's, it's not the crow for us. It's not the crow no. from the time with Brandon Lee. It's it's a it's the crow for a new generation of people. Um, the Gen Xers, I think, whatever the, that look for this thing that like love the whole post Malone kind of thing and the Machine Gun Kelly and stuff. It's the crow for the generation that's happening now. Which honestly, I could have taken that too. Uh, oh wait, the Gen Z kids. Yeah. yeah. 
So we signed an NDA. We've seen the movie. Yeah, we saw in it. full. And we signed an NDA and I can't talk about it. Yeah. All I can say is that even if they were creating No, we, we can't say if it's good or bad. I'm not. I'm just gonna say that I eight minutes fifty seconds. I didn't like it. That's all I'll say. I, I could have I can't say, man. I'm going to keep tripping myself into doing something I'm not supposed to. Have you guys ever visited a Salem during Halloween? Oh, we yeah. have. Yes. Salem during Halloween, Stephen, is one of those things that you have to do at least once. And then do yourself a favor and then go back off season and be like, oh, my God, the difference. Because Halloween in Salem is like going to Disneyland Park for like Christmas Day or something or like. Thanksgiving night or something. It's it's ridiculously packed. Um, everything is a pain in the tush. And when you go back off season, there's like nobody there. And it's just beautifully open and easier to explore. And you get to see things without all the people, you know. So do it during the holidays at least once because the smells, the leaves, the yes, whole atmosphere. Yes, Mike's a crab man. There's more coming. A the, lot of them. The trouble is worth it. But... It can, it, it will be a headache for you. I guarantee you that. But do it. Do it. I find myself like feeling old because of, because of my, my tastes in entertainment. <laughs> Listen, and this is coming from people who are, um, who grew up on crappy movies. So we like crappy movies because, you know, a lot of stuff that was made was just made bad. You know, and you took it just because you had to. But I'm not even trying to compare the new crow Thank you, Stevie to Dix. Brandon Lee because we all knew that it was going to be something different and you can't do that anyway. I mean, when they made the two remakes of the crow, those are supposed to be different characters, different reiterations of the crow. And even, okay, the third one, ugh, it was really bad. But the, I liked the second one. It wasn't great, but I thought it was fun. It had it had a feeling to it. John, John and Steph. My first horror movie was Alien when I was six. My dad took me to the theater, and I was hooked on horror beavers. ever since. We love watching Grim Life. That's awesome, John and Steph. Thank you. John That's and really Steph. really cool, man. I don't know. Was I born yet when the first Alien came out? There was a fourth crow. Oh hell! I've only seen the. First and then there's the TV show. Oh, I missed the TV show too. I didn't get to see the TV show. No. Oh, wait. I get them confused. I'm not sure which ones I've seen now. Now I'm going to have to go back and look at them. Oh, Warlock was so good. Waxwork was so good. Funhouse was so good. El Bendito. All three of those are, are hell yes from us. Baby? Yeah. Tommy wants to know if the Chucky TV series is any good. Oh, it's amazing. We can't wait for the, the new season to start up. But it took us a long time to get into it because we watched the first episode and it first came out and we said no and and turned it off and never watched it again. And then we gave it another chance like a year later. Um, starting the show, let me just tell you this. Chucky the TV series, the first one, you think, oh God, this is going to be more teenagers in school and it's going to drag on forever. The first season does feel like that. But after the first season, things really pick up with a lot more... Oh, it's funny as heckin'. Fun kill scenes. Mm -hmm. A lot of gore. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how much they get away with in this television series. So do yourself a favor. Just bear and grin it. Get through that first season and then you're going to have a lot of fun. That sounds like a terrible thing to say about a TV show, but it's true. It, it gets really wacky. So I saw somebody mention uh, something about uh, Ghost Club members and early access. Now is a great time to talk to you about this. I know it sounds like a cheesy commercial, but uh, after tonight's live, after this live ends, mm -hmm. well, right before I hit end stream which i'm looking at the button right there right before i hit that i'm gonna pull up my phone and i'm gonna make a video tomorrow's video go live for oh, all the you. ghost club members thank you for being and uh it's a doozy it is a fun 
doozy. So if you're a Ghost Club member, you have an early access video tonight. That's one of the perks of being a Ghost Club mm -hmm. member. And if you're at all interested in becoming a member, you want to join the afterlife that is the Grim Life Collective Ghost Club. Be my little ghosties. His name turns green. You get a little albino ghost on it. Yeah. Um, the link to do that is in the description of this video, as well as down here where the chat it has like a little dollar sign. I know it's cheesy. Uh, click on that and it'll tell you how to become a Ghost Club member and uh, be ready. And then Tuesday night is our Ghost Club members only hangout. And there's always somebody who goes, oh, what the heck? Now you're putting our lives behind the paywall. We're not doing that. That's not that's not that. As you can see, we have this live right now. We're just hanging out with people. All of our videos are free. All of our videos are free. Our Ghost Club members only hangout is for the people who want to help them, who want to go that extra mile and help out the, the, the Grim Life Collective. It's a way of us saying, listen, tonight we have 525 people in the chat room tonight. And we can't get everything. So Tuesday night, for the Ghost Club members, it's a much smaller, more yeah. intimate, and we can just it's hang out with you guys. One of the perks of joining longer. the club is that you can get more of a one-on-one -on -one with mm -hmm. us where you can chat with us directly, and the chat isn't yeah. on a 30-second delay. Yeah. And because we, we put a slow timer on it. And... Um, yes, Rowan Jones. More escape rooms are going to be coming. You, My ring? You want to see my ring? My what? I... I'm assuming you mean my wedding ring because the only ring I have. Hold on. And don't ever feel like you have to join anything. Like the video, it's an early access for you guys tonight. Um, it'll be available to everybody else tomorrow. So you get to like, you know, just extend your kookiness. It's a coffin mm. ring. It is it's a coffin. my wedding ring. Yes. It's, it is it is my nuptials ring. My wedding ring. Yeah. Yep. Jessica likes, Jessica's got a mouth like a sailor. Who has said that? Aaron Fram says, and Jessica curses curses during the Ghost Club it's session. It's true. You know, it, it's funny. We we did a um, a podcast. Some of you guys have saw it. Uh, Talks from the Crypt in Las Vegas. And it was like a three-hour podcast. And right before we went live, right before he started recording, he's like, you know, Michael, I'm going to get you to swear. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it. And I, I do swear. I mean, I, I do. We all do. We just don't on videos. I either. try really hard not, not to do to. it on camera yeah. ever. And there's reasons for that. But I purposely, in in the video, the, the, the podcast, I purposely gave him a swear word. And he was just like, he, and he almost didn't catch it. <laughs> yeah. He almost didn't catch it. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I, it's natural. That's a we all do it at least a little bit, but for oh Bella, hard disagree. Bella, why that on is a earth? Hard disagree. Oh, such a hard disagree. Uh, so for some reason, I, I think I don't zombie know. Zombie rainbows. Zombie rainbows. Hey, welcome to the afterlife. We've been expecting you. Is that's like that scene here? You gotta do it too. It's like that scene from Ed Wood with Bela Lugosi. Lucas, love you guys. Happy Halloween. Gotta run, but see you guys Tuesday night. You better be there, Lucas, or else werewolves. Not we will werewolves. reincarnate you. I'm just kidding. Have yeah, a good night. YouTube does not like swearing. They do not. Um, they will kind of like ping you. Uh, if you do any kind of swearing. But sometimes we bleep them out with fun things. Sticky? Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes there is, but most of the time <clears throat> there isn't. But if you, anyone who has met me in person, I probably curse within like the first minute that we've met at the table and stuff like that. I get excited. You know, the, the curses <clears throat> start flying because I grew up in a family where we said them out of it excitement. It must be double jointed. <laughs> and things like that. We, we never said curse words as uh, as expletives as it is said. We always said it, things out of out of excitement as just another expression. Excitement! So, yeah. Hey, baby. Do you know what rhymes with... Not even a contender, in my opinion. Not at all. Do you know what rhymes with ointment? Excitement! 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 
What is your favorite Halloween feels movie? The Ooh. one that gets you into the Halloween season. Good question, Steven. Mine is um okay, so there's Halloween festivities. Halloween festivities. Um, but for me, what gets me in the Halloween mood is the atmosphere of something wicked this way comes. Hocus Pocus tends to be uh, a common one for me because you get to see like the fall leaves blowing across the grass. They show like the forest and things like that as happens on Halloween. There's trick or treating in it. But then the movie Halloween is just as hell. Um, those are probably the two that I turn to the most when I'm like, I just want to like a feel good oh. Halloween movie. Um, 710 cap. No. Especially. That's for you. Uh, We're not going to talk about the movie. Halloween We're watching the movie. And stuff like that. The link for you to watch the movie, 710 Cap, is in the description of this video or pinned to Trick the top treat, of the yeah, chat. Another one. Pick yeah, it, yeah. click it, watch it. This is a hangout. Sleepy Hollow. It's a hangout. Yes. Oh, Sleepy Hollow. I don't feel 42, Dustin. That's because you're only 27. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool, Shannon. I have not seen her. I think since they got engaged because we run into each other at conventions and I lately um, they've so many conventions are happening at such close dates that I've been mostly seeing her sister at their table. And I'll, ha I'll have to check. We might be twinsies. <sighs> and there is such amazing people. Stephen LaRue's holiday. He did one of our artworks that we're extremely fond of and he's an amazing artist. Uh, same with Adam's art box. He did the most. We have two artist artwork shirts. Stephen LaRue's Holiday did the black t-shirt. And uh, Adam's art box did the white t-shirt. And they're great friends of ours all around. All four of them are amazing people. They're the artist and their fiance and wife, now wife. Um, Thank you, David. I love that you guys Michael. got to know them a bit better through their artwork because they really deserve it. And then the new pins, the start of our coffin, our, 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 our tombstone series mm -hmm. is another friend of ours that yeah. we respect that we love. Um, uh, demonic pin festation, which is amazing for me because I was already a long-term customer of theirs and I was a long-term fan oh, the puppy. of hers. No puppy. And, get away. Uh, to, to be able to become friends and collaborate on something um, was just a dream come true for me. I really love Demonic Confestation. There, She's uh, a one-woman show, really. She does everything herself, and she's so talented. Her and her mom, you know, are, are just great people. Oh, that's so cool, foolies. <laughs> From the I Neverland love... vacationing in Los Angeles right now. Welcome to Los Angeles. Boo. It, it had a little bit of a rainy day today. <clears throat> we still have not seen the new Hellraiser yet. We are really behind on some stuff. Poor puppy. I was actually just thinking today that we have a lot of movies that we still haven't seen. I keep that forgetting. We should have like... Oh, well, we should, so all of our movies are in alphabetical order. <laughs> and... We, we, we should do a start at the very beginning and say, did we watch this? Or did we both watch this? And if I haven't watched it or you haven't watched it or we mm -hmm. both haven't, then we need to watch it. Mm -hmm. And just make our way down the down, alphabetical yeah. order. No matter what it is, no matter what mood we're in, we put it on and we watch it. Finally caught Snow you guys Dub. live again. Hi. Much love. Thank Snow you. Dub. Thank you. Glad that you were here. And by the way, I saw um, it, it, the name has already passed by, but I caught a comment way back when. Old school um, special effects. We have a Steve. lot of Aries birthdays in the chat right now. So happy belated or happy early birthday to you as I am also an Aries and my birthday was on April 3rd. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy, happy birthday, April Aries month. Uh huh. That's really cool, John Cavanaugh, to have seen the original Night of the Living Dead at the drive-in when it first aired. 
I was not lucky to grow up with Steve a Dix. drive-in theater as a kid. Bill, oh geez, come thank on, you, guys. Stevie. Thank Steve you, Bill. and Bill, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Happy Halloween, Scooby Doo. Mike C. The movie May is not Angel. I saw Angela Bettis. I don't know if I know May. Uh it's the one where the the, the girl who's working as a vet and um. Oh. She builds her perfect man. I have. Do I have pins of her from Demonic Pinvest? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure either. I'll have to look. We are a ram. I always forget the Aries as a ram. I always Lucky hated McKee's that Aries as a diamond. Yeah, you're right. Oh, someone said that their Pomeranian is barking at the TV because of this scene. The hell? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's the whole dog part. I told you guys. It, look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. That's so messed up. Everybody should have a flamethrower. Everybody should have Especially a Rick Dalton. Mm-hmm. Man, this movie is so amazing for its effects. Timestamp, Steve, Stevie Dix. Tramp stamp. 32 minutes, 50 seconds. We still haven't seen John Wick <laughs> Part 4. Welcome to the thing, Sam. I told you guys, it, it gets, and it gets, it gets worse, if you can believe it or not. It gets way more gory a little further in. It gets worse than what you just watched. So JP says, which town did you guys enjoy visiting more, Salem or Sleepy Hollow? I would say Salem. Salem. Sleepy Hollow is amazing. It's more but, of a pass-through town. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow is one of those towns where you can see it within like four hours. Yeah, maybe or less. Or less. Um, yeah. Salem, though, it, it's it's kind of become Ooh. our second home. Uh -huh. Imagine if that was real and Thank you're really you, cutting six, open six, like a, an alien animal that you just killed with a flamethrower and then had to cut it open. Imagine how bad that would smell. I would live in Salem, yeah. The only honestly the, the what ki, what kept us from already living in Salem is that they get snow. Don't like snow. We don't like snow. I don't even like opening up the freezer. <laughs> but we do love Los Angeles. LA mm. for now especially is home, mm. but Sometimes I, I have fantasies of like retiring in Salem or something, opening up a little so witchy shop. That guy right thing. there. So oh, what's our our time? Well, diabetes. So no, so thirty four forty. While yeah. they're they're talking, there's no. there's the guy with the the puffy hair. Yeah. In the back, and he's wearing that that blue sweater. Yeah. Every time I see him in this movie, I think of Jason Voorhees' mother. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. It's like Mrs. Voorhees, like, but the in like tattooed, this form. In the house again, Grim Life. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, Dead Pirate Tattoo. He's not the guy that has diabetes. I can't remember who that is anymore. We've been to New Orleans a few times. Every time we're driving through that area, we always stop. It's a great place to visit. But like a lot of places, it's a little, gets a little icky because there's a lot of partying. And the next morning, you can smell it all. You know, the old alcohol, the vomit, the pee. It, it can be a little um, <laughs> unpleasant during the day hours. <laughs> Right, John and Steph. I never noticed that. You are right, Jason's mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. So every every time I watch this movie and it gets to that scene, that scene in particular, just maybe the way he's standing, I automatically think His Friday so the Thirteenth. Cool. 
Ugh. I'm sitting on my legs. It makes my knees sore. Betsy Palmer, that's what it is. Lee Machine, have you all seen Alligator 1980? When I was young, I watched the movie and I'm like, I'm never going near a street drain again. I like alligators in the sewer. I am not familiar with that. Are you? Alligator from 1980? I don't remember. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not on my radar. I bet I've seen probably some clips from it, but I don't recall having seen it at all. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I drank what? I mean, the alligator, I mean, I'd always give it a watch. Sure, why not? I mean, I've probably seen it, but... Probably have, just uh, don't recall it. Yeah, don't recall. Yeah. If I did see it, it wasn't, it, it's not something I remember. Right. That's funny. The Sharknado. I, okay, I know I've seen Sharknado, but I really don't remember much of it at all. We did a filming location I video on did. Sharknado 3. Way oh, hell way. no. Yeah. Not on the radar. Oh, that alligator? Was it just called alligator? No, that was called something. The one with Betty White in it. That was Lake Placid. Lake Placid, yeah. Yeah. Not that I don't think that's the same one. No. Lee the Machine Bowers. I'm the type of guy who dislikes classics getting rebooted. They should be left alone. Mostly the same. But yeah, I 100% agree with you, but... I'm always excited to see what they can do with it because you don't have to remake it exactly as a first one, like take some liberties for God's sakes. But I haven't liked anything that's been rebooted so far. <laughs> I feel like everyone's just kind of dropped the ball. They're trying to chase the hype of the first one. Don't try to copy the first one. Just make your own version or like a continuation or something that's yours. I, I, I think that most of the time when remakes happen or when they choose to remake a movie, it's for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Uh, occasionally, you get a filmmaker who who really understands the magic of the original. And if they if it's done right, it can bring the movie to a whole new generation. Um, but it has to be in the right hands. Yeah. If somebody buys the rights to a movie, let's say like The Crow or any other thing, and the whole intent of it is, listen, um, we're doing it from the financial point of view. We want to make some money off of this. It's never going to work. But if you get the right person who goes, listen, this is whether or not it's it does great or not, we're gonna make this movie the way that that's gonna make it even we better. Yeah. Th then the remake can work. So but it, hasn't so it was a big butt. Yeah. Big butt. Big butt. One man's adventure says, Hello from St. Louis, y'all. Finally got to catch you live. Thank you for all the amazing meetings. And thank you, One Man's Adventure. Thank you. You so mean much. you're alive? I thought this entire time no, I'm totally dead. that we were just reanimated yeah. ghouls. Who's reanimated? Ha, 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 ha. Have you guys watched the TV show uh, Resident Alien with Alan Ooh, Tudyk? The Pro could be a good anime, actually. I love that show so much. Sometimes the chat goes by so fast it right? hurts my eyes, and I'm trying to grab onto a comment, and it just well, it's here, all blurry. here's somebody actually says chase me laser, chase me laser, chase me later. Um, Roadhouse remake thoughts. Uh I thought it was funny. I loved it. Mm. I loved it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the original with um uh uh shoot Patrick Swayze. We watched the remake of Roadhouse in a hotel. And I was like, oh, let's just put it on because we're probably going to hate it. We actually thought it was 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 actually really, really good. It was funny. 
Um, I don't agree with the whole. There's some like controversy with it. How it's on Amazon Prime instead of in the movie theater, and the director is very unhappy about it because it was filmed to be on a big thing. Well, I'm I'm over here watching and listening to the interviews, going, dude, at least you got your movie made. At least you got True. your movie and it's supported in, in by someone in front of people yeah. so they can watch it. All the different filmmakers out there who put all their time and money and their blood, sweat, and tears into movies that never get seen. Oh. Yours got seen and it's good stop crying that it's not in the movie theater i mean i understand <laughs> i get it they were promised it was going to be in a theater so the way they filmed it was was made like the the quality yeah. the film they so it was more expensive for them to make it because it was made for it being in the theater and all that sort of stuff but right the, the conor mcgregor part was 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 just hard to watch yeah he was a little cringe to the whole thing but it, it was Steven. good it was it was an enjoyable movie. It felt like it felt like John Hall was funny. Like it felt like you were at a party. Like you yeah. it felt like you were at a bar brawl, right? Yeah. It felt like yeah, it, it was good. It was fun. This is a question for you from Steven. Yeah. Are you a Tron fan? No. I'm kidding. Yes, I am a Tron fan. He loves Tron. I'm I mean, I like it, but it's not my go-to to watch sometimes. Like, it, for me, I even though we're not that far apart in age, I feel like I was not in the right time or the right age by the time I got to see it. I, I feel like I was too old because I, I didn't see it as a kid. And I think part of that is, like, a, a childlike wonder you have with some of those movies sometimes. So, Tron... Yeah, I, I think growing up, that was one of those movies that was just like, it, it, it was it was cool to like yeah. when you were a kid and you watched it. Yeah. And oddly enough, I I don't know if this is a popular Last opinion Fire or not. Fire. Yeah. But I I really like. Um, Ooh, Mikey, that's hard. The, the the Neutron movie that they put out too, uh, so much so that the the soundtrack, the score is uh, what's the name of them. People wear the helmets. Oh, I can never remember. I don't actually know. I'm drawing a blank right now. Daft Punk. I'm not a fan of Daft Punk. And listening to oh, Daft Punk kind of makes me go, eh, whatever. But for some reason, the new the, the Tron and Daft Punk together, it was like that plays the imagery of that movie and the sounds play in my head. Like nonstop. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> laser tag. We played laser tag together. It was, it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. I had, Tron I had Legacy. That's what it's called. Legacy. There's the there's the one scene. It's the big fight sequence with uh uh. Why am I drawing so much blanks today? Who's the main? Oh God. Eh, whatever. I am a bit cutthroat at laser. I don't know what right. you're talking about, Dreamscape. And I, I'm kind of avoiding the whole Dreamscape word. Somebody keeps saying, oh, Dreamscape is awesome. I have Dreamscape. no idea what, I have no idea what that is. And I'm not going to pretend to know what it is. And I'm not going to look it up right now. So somebody who's like, Dreamscape, they're all about Dreamscape. Um, it's probably My a really great movie. My so favorite sorry. Star Trek series was The Next Generation because I was eight when that came out and I got to watch it with my dad and he was a Trekkie from the original. So that was something we got to watch together as a bonding moment. Um, so that one's always going to be like my, my first and ultimate love. But Deep Space Nine hit in such a different way and i've gotten to meet now a handful of the actors and actresses that were in deep space nine and it, it totally made my millennia and um to this day like i the the one that i rewatched the most is deep space nine i love voyager i absolutely love voyager um but Good night, it's Robert. almost kind of a tie for me now that first generation or Deep Space Nine because I go to Deep Space Nine more for a rewatch than I do the first generation. Jenny says, which bands first got you Jenny! guys into the goth scene? Oh my and did God. you guys ever go to any cool goth nightclubs? Love you both. Love you too. Uh, for me, living in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we had um, 
an evolution of a goth club. Uh, the first goth club that I've ever been to was called Club Laga, and it was in uh, Oakland, which is a college town. Still is a college town in Pittsburgh. And then Club Laga eventually closed. Saw a lot of bands there. And it was called the ceremony. That was called the, that was the goth night in, in Pittsburgh called Ceremony at Club Laga. And uh, I even performed there a few different times with an old sideshow that I used to do. And the band that really got me into that type of music was uh, Sisters of Mercy. Uh, there's yeah. there's goth, there's industrial, there's ambient, there's all this stuff. Me, I, I really like what was called death rock. I really love death rock. Uh, I was already into goth and industrial music long before Nine Inch Nails came out. And God, I hated Nine Inch Nails because they really were like the mainstream what people would call industrial and it was so far from what actual industrial music was. Switchblade Symphony, uh, to this day, I still their first album was was Chef's Kiss. I, I I listen to it all the time. And to this day I still hate Nine Inch Nails a little bit because to me their their music is not goth or in, far from industrial. So I don't know if that makes me a purist or whatever. Christian death obviously, but um I like them for what they are. Um, type of negative again is like it falls along the lines of like gossip. Look, I can talk my face off on this and it, it, I'll get really twisted up in things eventually, but I can't even think of what Mom's good. I can't skinny puppy. Yeah, I think actually, I think it was skinny puppy who really got me into it because they came out in the late 70s, and that I think for me is the at the time when I was younger was the oldest band um, that I knew that was still playing. Um, like still touring and stuff like that, that I actually got to see. Um, Nine Inch Nails, isn't that Freddy Krueger? Yes. I always have like a weird relationship when it comes to disgusting goth and industrial music. It well, gives it, me a big it, headache. It's funny, even though like I, so me personally, I don't know about you, Baby Ghoul, but like, yeah, like London After Midnight and all those different bands, even though London after midnight. In, in my teenage years, I spent a lot of time yeah. in the goth clubs mm -hmm. and I like a lot of the goth music. And yes, I wear pretty much all black today. I, still I mean, have a lot of them. I, I'm, what, I'm 44 years old <laughs> today, yeah. 44 years old in 2024. I don't consider myself goth. In fact, whenever somebody says, oh, like it's a goth YouTuber or whatever, it actually makes me kind of go, ugh. Like not Ooh. that I have anything against goth. Yeah. It's just I I don't I don't really associate myself as part of the goth culture, the subculture. I mean, I have a lot of history there, but yeah. it's not like I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the goth club. There's down the street no. from us in the Hollywood. I don't know what to consider myself, honestly. Yeah. Um I think I'm just a horror nut. I, I don't know. Furious Grizz says, hey, I'm looking forward to possibly meeting you guys at Harkon UK in Sheffield. Yay! Yes! Cool. You mentioned you enjoy industrial. Have you lived, ever listened to KMFDM? Yes. yes. Yeah, like that was a staple in the goth clubs for sure. Danced and many nights to KMFDM. Because it was so hard for me to get Time music stamp. during the time that I was clubbing because... Definitely not emo. <laughs> online stuff wasn't really a thing yet. 49 I minutes, 10 seconds. 49 minutes, 10 seconds. Basically pick up compilations from Cleopatra Music. So I would go to my local um, CD place, and they never had any of the band's actual um, individual albums, but I could almost always pick up a Cleopatra record that had, yeah. like, a bunch of them on there, and that was, like, my fix of being able to play that stuff at home. And it was never the popular songs. So it was, like, a lot of stuff from, like, the B tracks and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But it, it made me – I still have them, too. Still have all of them. The goth box and all that stuff. Yeah. We were at Amoeba Music the other day. I think it was at Amoeba. No, it wasn't Amoeba. It was uh, Zia or Zia Records. Zia Records in Las Vegas. And mm -hmm. they had one of those like goth compilations. I love like, the goth compilations. Those are always fun. Yeah. You know, back in the day before the interwebs, you would have to go to your local record store and hope that you found like a, you know, the goth box or mm -hmm. unquiet grave was one of my yeah. favorites. Oh, unquiet grave. Yeah. I have that one. I used to listen to it all the time. I still have all of them. <laughs> We're all black wearers. I will Starbucks not lovers. let go of them. And it's funny because like I am, um, 
Awesome, JJ. I listen to all kinds of music. All kinds of music. Susie! To give you an idea of some of the music that just recently we bought... Uh, a little bit half dollar, yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on vinyl, we bought... Let's see. Um... What did we buy on vinyl recently? Most recently? So, like, the, the ones that come to mind, um, Messer Chups, which is a horror surf band. Uh-huh. From we, Germany. Uh, from oh, no. St. Petersburg. Is it from Germany? Yeah, no. I no. can't remember where they're from. Um, we buy a lot of soundtracks the and Pesh scars. Yeah. Scores. Uh, we bought the... The, the Muppets Electric Mayhem soundtrack. Mm -hmm. We have the new Ariana Grande album mm -hmm. on vinyl. So we like all kinds of music. Russia, maybe. Yeah, I think they might be from yeah. Russia. We love all kinds of music. I mean, I could probably find at least one song <clears throat> that I would fall in love with from every single artist that exists today. And that's <clears throat> not an over-exaggeration. I just, I really like music, but... I night, have Aaron. damaged audio nerves and I have tonight is really <laughs> bad. So I actually have, um, I have 50% hearing loss in each ear, 50% on each side. And that was the last time I got tested. So it's actually probably degenerated a lot since then. Whenever we meet in person, you guys will see that I watch your lips a lot. Very eclectic music taste. Um, very eclectic. Yeah, I like a little bit of everything, honest to God. And I, I love soundtracks, especially. I love classical music. I love anything that's instruments. <laughs> And I think a lot well, of goth kind of like mixes in with a lot of that too. And it, it, it's funny. So in preparation for this, this live video, we're sitting here, we got everything ready and on, on our TV. I don't actually half dollar. On our TV, we, we pulled up YouTube and we, we found this amazing Chinese musician. It's this young woman. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but it's M-U-Y-O-N. Muon, 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 I think Muon official, and she she wears this this veil. Sometimes she wears a mask. You know, uh, over there they have different different things. But she wear she she's this amazing musician. And the first video we watched was her version of ACDC yeah. Thunderstruck, and she's playing these classical Chinese instruments. And it was so beautiful that we sat here for like a half an hour just watching one video after the next. Yeah. Completely different from anything that we've ever listened to before. Oh, God, the Dune soundtrack. Heckens, yes. Yeah. <laughs> nothing about the, the nomination from our last live stream. So those of you who have joined us who have not caught our PSA, uh, the Rondo Hatton Horror Awards end on Tuesday. So if you're watching this right now, Listen to me. You're watching me right now. You're listening to me, what I'm talking, what, yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. Take a moment and send an email right now, please. You can only do this once. So if you already sent an email, if you already nominated us or voted for us for the Rondo Hatton Awards, don't send another email just once. Uh, in the description of this video, you will find an email address and, and in instructions on how to vote for us for best podcast we're technically not a podcast but best podcast um send it mm -hmm. out please do it now right i've now. actually had damaged audio nerves since my early 20s and my hearing just has gotten worse over time and i got the the volume of sometimes in my head is so bad. some people freak out some people cry um I actually can't have call me cries I can't uh, have silence in the house ever. Some Something has to be playing at all times. Usually television because something about the frequency is better than music. I'll get a, I get migraines from music now. I didn't used to get that. Thank you, David. We recently, uh, Jessica's mom was in town and we, we showed her around town. It was her first time here in mm -hmm. LA and we went to Hollywood Forever Cemetery because her mom is a big fan of oh, Judy Garland. That was on a set, Wally. So we, we took her to the final resting, the, the now final resting place of Judy Garland. Yeah. And there was a couple on there, a sweet couple. And the woman, she turned around and she saw us. I thought she was going to pass out. She was going to hit she the ground. So she was so sweet, her and her husband. But it, it, it was really cute. So, well, yeah. People run the gambit when they meet us. Just like, yeah, it's kind of fun. 
Yeah, Donald Turpin. I don't know if it's your type of thing, but M. I'm, 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 I think I'm, gonna, I'm typing this correctly. Uh, I really only follow um, M U Y O N, and she's a Chinese musician. Um, aside from Disneyland Resort, Hollywood, and Orlando, and Universal Studios, I only, we only. I only follow two YouTube channels and one of them is Casey Neistat who, oh my God. and the other one now is, is this woman and her music. So what's that? No, Jess, I'm <clears> thinking <throat> I have two different accounts. I have a personal account and I have this account and I'm following so many people that I lost track and I need to go through and clear I that follow list two. out. I don't even know. I, I, yeah, I, I end up, I, I, you know, come across something where I'm like, oh, I really like this. I'd like to check out more of their stuff. So I follow them and I never get around to it. Thank you. The great my, All my lists everywhere are like that. I'm kind of a, uh, I'm like a hoarder of people or of like just videos and sound bites in general. I always, I got into industrial music because I, I love the sound of noise and I have always really loved just sounds of on recordings, which really, I've been into ASMR since like ah, early Julius. 80s. I used to make my own before YouTube ever I existed. I remember you. Vote for us. Vote for us. <laughs> Kylie says, oh, Baby Gold's got the mile long list. I'm like, I can count on one hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I like keeping it simple. <laughs> I like keeping it simple. I am ADHD so bad, man. Like, he, he keeps me grounded because sometimes I just, my brain totally nopes out and it's just like two kittens fighting over catnip in a brown paper bag. And that's my brain. Here's a question for you folks. As as people who are looking at the, the Grim Life Attack Collective YouTube channel, can you see the channels that the Grim Life Collective follows? Uh, I don't think anybody can see the list that you, other people... Sometimes there's a setting. You can either set things to public or private. Most of my things are private. Um, so I don't think they can see mine, but they might be able to see yours if it's public. No, I, so you guys can't see it. I wonder... Let me see. Um, bear with me here, folks. I'm... Because dun, it, it, it is really... Dun, dun, dun. He touched it. Uh, bear with me. Doo -doo -doo. That's not how you pronounce that. Oh, there it is. Now, don't click on this link just yet. Wait till afterwards because it'll take you away from it or just save it. But uh thank you, KJ. This is thank the video. Thank everybody who's voted for Amazing us on the Rondo Hatton Awards. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah. Uh one more time. One more time for Ghost Club members. When this video ends, when this live stream ends, right before it does, actually, I'm going to pull up and I'm going to make tomorrow's video live for you guys tonight. Grim. Spooky. Yeah, I actually put one on there. Things. And see what it looks like. It's a filming location it. video of a very famous horror movie. You guys can oh. watch it tonight. Ah. One more time. One more time. Celebrate. All right. Can we have a hint? Kylie says, can we have a hint of what the video is going to be? Well, that takes all the fun out of it, doesn't it? No, right? it doesn't. The color yellow. Oh, yeah, I can see that. The color yellow. And stripes. No. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. Nope. The color yellow. Okay, we'll say it. We'll, we'll say stripes. <laughs> <laughs> the color yellow. What head? Does Michael have a nickname? What? Um. Ow. Nothing. That's it. Ow. <laughs> Man, that's Not me. Not really. What's Michael's name? Ow. 
No, I mean, like, what do I call him at home? Ow. Ow. Uh, I call him BB. BB. He's my BB. Baby God. BB. Honey. Let, let, you know let all me the, tell you. Your uh, typicals, but let's, I call my best friends Bun Buns. So Bun Buns. Let's give you an example. BBs and Bun Buns. Of, of, of what happens in our house. Go ahead. Try yeah. to get my attention. BB. Usually, I'm trying to get your attention from like another room. <laughs> She's like, Baba! Baba! That's it. <laughs> Baba! Baba! I'm like, oh my God, I'm being attacked by a Muppet. <laughs> well, because he always has his headphones on. Thank you. And then Shiny sometimes, Vera. like, you're yelling at them from like the shower because you forgot something, you know? And so I'll be like, Baby! And listen, it just doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so I had to like holler. And most of the time he doesn't hear me anyway. But I wanted to show you guys because I happen to have a pair of them here. The pins that everyone keeps talking about. In case you are curious, this is what they look like. I'm trying to get that glare off of there. But ugh. yeah, me, that's us. It's not going to focus probably, but. So these are these are each pins that are really really big. I'm gonna take mine out so you can see it. Oh, so uh, so uh, Michelle Cazera says I was gonna say midsummer for tomorrow's filming location, but I remember the Grimms didn't go to Switzerland. But it's funny that you said midsummer. So big. Uh, uh, we have a massive movie collection and massive 4k movie collection and i think just recently i saw the listing for it recently but a24 has put together a really oh, nice big midsummer yeah it's a 171 yeah. minute director's cut of midsummer and it's it's available on the a24 website so they have the regular movie the theatrical release and then they have a 171 minute director's cut of midsummer and we bought it and it, it's it, hopefully it'll get here soon because I want to sit down and watch 171 minutes yeah. of Midsummer. <laughs> These are not glow in the dark, but I my hair on here is actually blacklight reactive, just like it is <clears throat> in real life, which I thought was fun. That was a happy accident. We did not uh, ask for that detail, but it it came out that way, which I think is hilarious. Yeah, it's but, on yeah. the A24 website. A24. Uh, yeah, go check it out. Michael and Jessica, I like listening to Viking music. Awesome. I don't Bryce. know what that means. I'm Norwegian and I know nothing about being a Viking because I uh was I'm like the third generation American at least. So I'm I'm just American. I feel like I sound to say American so American, like ugh. Yes. The Didi. The pins will be at with us at midsummer. Yeah. Uh, maybe it all depends. So we're going to have the pins in New Jersey yeah. in person. Yeah. So you, if you're going to be at the New Jersey show to, to come see us, you will have first dib on the pins and then the pins go live on July 11th for ghost club members, early access. Yeah. They go live for the public on July 12th and not all of them dead stuff. If we have any left for mid, uh, Midsummer Scream, I think it's July 24th, 25th, 26th. We'll bring them if we have we'll them. We'll have yeah. them. They are, they're going to be very limited edition. Um, while we have them, we have them. And when they sell out, they're just, they're gonzies. Yeah. Um, I don't, it's, yeah, it's a. I, I don't think that they're going to sell out a right away, of, but we've been surprised in the past, and they are limited edition, like Jessica said. A lot of the Swedish and the Finnish and all that can be tall, but my yes, dad Michelle. and his family is from Norway. He has one tall sister, and everybody else was average. My father was only five foot ten, and I'm five foot three, but so was my mother, who is Irish. So I'm only half Norwegian. Yeah, Didi, I, I, I would, I would, uh, 
I would be safe and get them on on online, but I really think that they're not going to sell out. I'll probably have but some at least. I, I I I don't know. Yeah. We, we, we shall we shall see. Yeah. I mean, like Norwegians born in Norway probably are typically tall, but mm, all right. My family they comes from tired. Norway, and none of them were very tall, so I don't know. Jack Burton. Yeah, I know Gravity Kills. Good night, John Roberts. We, we do not have any giveaways right now. No. I will give you some words of advice. You ready? You the ready? The pins are 30 for the set. Words of advice. Yeah, see, Swedish, the Swedes are tall. Vote for the Grim Life Collective, Brando Hatton Horror Awards. Please. <laughs> and thank you if you've already <clears throat> voted. Yeah, if you already voted, you can only vote once. If not, do it. If you did, awesome. Thank you. You're great. I'm done. Mic drop. <clears throat> thank you, Danny W. Yeah, I don't know. My my dad was 5'9", five, 5'10", five, but he had a Thank sister you, zombie rainbows. who was I like 5'11", like or 6 foot. She was really tall. And actually, his family was kind of tall. Because they were around his height or taller on average. But I got my mother's height. The Irish are short. I think that if... Little people. He's 6'2". Um, so, I mean, and he's not Norwegian. You're gypsy. I'm Marshmallow. Marshmallow. If we were to win High five tall people. a Rondo Hatton Award, I think they actually have an actual ceremony that we can go to and 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 and, and you know oh, um, Julia, accept yay. and stuff. And if I'm we're so in town, we can, we can make it happen. I'd, I'd go in a heartbeat and do a little video on it. Uh -huh. Yeah, it genetics are funny, aren't they, Gray Gray? Like, just because your parents are tall, don't mean that you're gonna be tall. Him, J him July and his dad are like identical. Shannon Fitz, July 11th will be Ghost Club. July 12th is gonna be regular public, non Ghost Club. Like, okay, I know this. There's a lot of people yes, here, and I probably shouldn't came. put this question out there. But ladies, how tall are you? I'm five foot three, and cool, I think Kylie. that's normal. Bring a step stool. <laughs> Wait, what? Kind of, I guess it's so short that she's gonna need a stepping stone to like to jump up the. Are hug. you not five foot? I'm five foot three. Oh, four eleven. So cute. Oh, 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 oh. so tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, so like I'm average, so if four, not on the short side. Four eleven is the smallest so far here. Yeah. Or, or, four eleven. Got a couple 411s. Tramp stamp. Ricky. Darrow. Ricky. One hour, eight minutes, 15 seconds. Dee Dee, you are not 5'7. We're like eye level. Angela's 5'7 too. Hold on. I was wearing shoes. What kind of shoes was I wearing? I was wearing my, my stacks last time I saw you at Disneyland. So okay, yeah, that kind of checks out. I'm six you two be only because I gotta cut my myself. I'm gonna have to next time I see you, I'm gonna have to take my shoes off <laughs> and see. Cause I was wearing really big shoes. Oh, there's a four nine, Amy White four nine. Whenever because I am on the shorter end, whenever we do our meet and greets. Uh, the shoes I wear are usually like at least three inches so that I can look some of you guys in the face. I'm going to start wearing platform boots. Don't. You're already five foot two or six foot two. I'm, I'm going for seven nine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes. Seven nine. Mr. Stilts. 
My partner is about the same height, 5'4". I bought her hobbit shoes to wear around the house. <laughs> Come on! Listen, that just means that we're closer to taking out your kneecaps. And we're feisty little gremlins, so uh, we will. Gremlins. Just remember that. And we bite. Who bites? Little people. Can they kick me in my knees? Yes. Would I mean I'd have to high kick to do it, but you know what I'm yeah. gonna do? I, I I'm gonna get you platform shoes, like boots that are gonna God be clear. It, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm it's gonna have a little nozzle, and I'm just gonna put different colored sand in your shoes so they uh -huh. so they it's like the sand jars with like different colors. Uh huh. So then your 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 shoes are gonna be color sand. Well, that's all right. That's all right. I've seen those. That's kind of cool. See, I'm the tallest in my family at five foot three. Dee Dee says her mom. My is... mom and my sister are shorter than me. <clears throat> what she said. Oh, I'm the plugs in. I already find it. Oh, I took my plugs out so I can wash my face before we did this, oh, and I uh, I, I, I forgot to put them back in. Tunnels, I'm sorry, not plugs. They're actually called tunnels. What's a spinal fusion, KJ? What is that? Hello, unicorn. You're not black, Sam. I can see you. They're just, the chat moves really fast. Who's quiet mouse? I have no idea. Quiet I don't know. A greedy. But I don't know. Ew. Well, that's no fun. Ontario, Canada. I have a friend. Canada. Oh, okay. I have Who's a got friend crickets? Who did that? They said it was really painful afterwards, and it still can be pretty painful now. Are you all healed up and feeling better? Like that sounds pretty brutal. I'm actually <laughs> getting hungry. Like, okay, literally, I have to call him into the room sometimes to reach things because I simply can't. He asked me to get something down for him because I was standing next to something he needed and I kept trying and I couldn't reach it. And he was like, Doug update. It's the like, best he just podcast. Had this realization come over his face of you can't reach that. Are you shitting? Are you, we are you not had me? Dinner. I, I almost, I almost did it guys. He was like, can you like, honestly not reach that? Are you like, are, are you messing around? Do I have to come over and get it? And I, I actually, I couldn't reach it. So like, we have a hallway, all right? Mm -hmm. We have a hallway in our house. And on one side of the hallway is a line of closets for her. And then all my clothes are on the other side of the hallway. Yeah. It's, it's hallway, this and that, this way. And I have rails that are up high. And I asked her to grab me something from the top rung. And she I almost, not... I almost had it. I just I couldn't get the hanger off like i could reach the hanger itself but i was too short to lift it <laughs> wait how that how that go <laughs> don't laugh at me i love it i climb counters yeah i i actually have my own little step stool that i sometimes carry around the house i hide it from her <laughs> with a ladder i can do anything yeah can't we all it's fun. So the so the great Jebber Watts says last week, me and my homies went to a theater goth event to see the craft on the big screen. Do you guys like that movie? We do. And we live not that far from where they filmed a lot Frankie, of it. Thank you, thank you, sweetie. And it took me back because when we first moved here, not, not when we first moved here, not too long after we moved here, I think, we actually 
saw the movie The Craft with some friends. Yeah, I am. It was a very intimate days. setting. It was like maybe like 10 people in a store, like a witchcraft store. Oh, yeah. So that, that was a lot of fun. Remember that, Bun Buns? That yeah, was are, so much fun. Are they still here? Yeah. Yeah, Calderas. Mm -hmm. uh, that was. I think about that all the time. It was just this small little setup. They sold it like these so quick cute. little tickets and yeah. we sat with some friends and, and, and watched the movie inside a Wiccan store. I which have no cool. idea, Bryce. I'm not Danish. 6 a.m. in London. You guys are hardcore. Right? We're going to be there in a couple weeks. I know. We're going to have to change our our internal clocks again. Who here is from Europe right now? Oh, yeah. Who here is from Europe? Oh, as soon as Susie said good day, I knew she was from Australia. I didn't even have to read the rest of the sentence. And I was like, oh, an Australian. I, I still... Once, so we spent three months in Europe, and then we came back, and we'll go out and grab a bite to eat, and I'll still tell the people I want it for takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Davies, we See, were going to be in Wales. It's a take, John and Steph. I have him get stuff for me that are up high, and I reach. I get stuff them from him, down low, so he doesn't Grizz. have to bend down. Wales. Oh, there goes the hands. Oh, I forgot about that part. And oh, Kurt Russell's just like, that was I'm epic. cool. I'm cool. It's the spaghettis that always bothered me with this movie. The spaghettis. Which is great because we're having spaghetti after this. Oh, no, thank you. There we are. Mm -mm. Oh, no, the store caught fire recently. Did not know that. Thanks for the heads up, Matt. Oh, that sucks. The Dolls of Horror. I know you. Hello, stranger. Oh, hi. Yeah, that was super cool. I keep forgetting about that little place. And it was a really nice little area. And they were new at the time. Dustin Fraser says, hey, Michael, got a question for you. What do you guys got planned for tomorrow for traveling after this watch party? We are not traveling, but we are going to be filming a video in a cemetery, but not a famous grave. It's a video in a cemetery, but not a famous grave. And <laughs> Alice was eating pasta. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, it's all right. I did not see the alien popcorn bucket they're going to do. You're welcome, Gabe. Dee Dee. I'm glad you went out and did that. We got the ones. We were just talking about this because I have a pretty severe Disney well popcorn bucket Garden collection. City. I have a lot of the ones hmm. from Tokyo and a some from Hong Kong and all the Halloween ones from the United States. And we recently got the new ones for uh, Ghostbusters from AMC and from... Regal. Wally Gator, California. We are at uh, one hour, 17 minutes, 20 seconds. Mm. I don't think that one's even shipped yet, the one from Regal, has it? No. I gotta check that. So, uh, speaking of Spain, somebody says we should go to Spain. Da, 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 uh, da, 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 so, that's funny you mentioned that. Every morning, I try to. I've been getting good, better at it, in the mornings, before, like... I have down days, but I've been trying to work out every morning. I just like some cardio and like some core exercises. Nothing to like get like all, 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 all big and bulky, but just like cardio and core exercises. And when I'm doing the cardio, I'm watching stuff on my phone. And I started watching this 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 show. The Reluctant Traveler with Eugene Levy. If you haven't seen that, it's amazing. And the first episode that I saw was whenever he went to Spain. And I was like, man, I, we really got to go to Spain. And then... It has not shipped yet. Recently, at Transworld, we put a video out oh, on God, Transworld. So many people from Transworld. There's yeah. a big Halloween event that happens over in Spain. And we met the owners of this Halloween event. And they... Uh, they expressed interest of having us as, as guests at some point. So that might happen. We might go to Spain next year. That would be amazing. We When we were at 
Saint the St. Louis convention for Halloween um, trans world. We met so many amazing people, not just from Spain, but also from Denmark. They do really amazing, great things there with their, their shows. And we connected with a lot of people that we would love to come out and check out these things and bring those adventures with you guys. Hopefully that's something that we can do for you in the future. Yeah. And the fact that we were even on their radar, like blew my mind. Right. And like they, the, the event that they put on is, is, is pretty miraculous. Oh, so oh, August. Thank you. Yeah. I was just checking to see if it had shipped yet. Actually, um, you can still pre-order from them right now. Uh, as of a couple of days ago, they were still sending out emails saying that you can still pre-order the popcorn bucket from Regal for Ghostbusters. That one lights up. Yeah, David Mike, what happens? That's why we got the tramp stamp. And then we have the one from AMC that it lights up, but it has that purple part on it, and it does not physically open. Also, I was looking at places in Australia today, this morning, before you woke up. I, was, I can't I was wait to go to Australia. And uh, seeing what it would be like to go down there and some of the stuff that we can do. So there's a lot of stuff coming. We have we have no plans on stopping our YouTube adventures anytime soon. If anything, they're just going to get bigger, bigger. And, and better and better. So more countries, more countries, more locations. More things. And it, it's, it's, it's become an obsession really. It's like, what, what, what can we do now? Where yeah. can we go now? That's so. <sighs> we buckle your seatbelts. We don't know whose radar we are on. And we get a lot of requests to appear at this horror convention or that comic con convention and the fact of the matter is is it's not up to us where we are invited to appear um and a lot of these places you you don't just sit call them up and say hey i want to be at your show they have to kind of contact you so if you have a local convention that you want to see us at whether it's in australia england new jersey chicago wherever let them know Maybe, that David. you want to see us appear there to get us on their radar and hopefully if enough people let them know that they want us to be there, then they'll say, Hey, we want you to come and be at our show. And that's kind of how that works. Cause let me tell you, we we have reached out to places and asked them if we could appear at their convention and been told no. So they uh, don't want us. I'm not gonna mention any names. Not going to mention any names, but I am going to say something that we might, would if might we make asked. somebody mad. Um, it's no secret we've we've started getting invited to different conventions. Um, Scarefest weekend um, at Lexington, Kentucky. They're amazing people. Mm -hmm. um, we're so very honored, very lucky that that that. They want us, and they're bringing us out for their show. The show in Sheffield. Um, there's a couple shows overseas that that we're talking to. Days of the Dead, Midsummer Scream, Horror Realm in Pittsburgh. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, there are conventions out there who do not like us. In fact, they absolutely hate us and they have said some nasty things about they us. They even have names for us. They, they have they have names that... And we've never met. Yeah, we've never met them. They just think that, for whatever reason, they uh, they absolutely hate us. Like, I'm talking hate. Yeah. Hate. And they... Uh, I'm not going to mention any names because they are some pretty pretty big people. And we've never done anything to them. And I don't know what it is. And some of you have said, oh, we'd love to see you at this convention. We'd love to see you at this it's convention. It's just never going to happen. It's never going to happen because the owners of some of these places just do not want it to happen. And it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. It's their business. They can do whatever they want. Um, and that's why we sometimes appear at these smaller conventions because... They know who we are and they've invited us out and we get to go see you guys at a different part of the country that we haven't gotten yeah. to appear at before, which and, I think is great. And and if you've ever met us in person, I might have said these exact words for you and it's not, it's not a line. I don't care if 
at these shows. Politics. If yeah. we ever, if we sell a sticker, an autograph print, or anything, if if we walked into a convention and for eight hours, every single person walked up to us and said, I don't want to buy anything. I just wanted to meet you and say that you inspired me and my family to go out and explore. And we get that a lot. That's all we and it want. Makes us happy. That's amazing. To us, yeah. that's that's worth more than anything else. Um, if you want to buy something, that's awesome because it goes right into us making more videos and more adventures. So I, I, I don't know. Just like with anything, there's politics, there's drama, and we are very vocal about not being a part of any of that politics and drama. Yeah. So if if you see us at a show and we we agree to be at a show and you come out, just know that we are beyond thankful that you mm -hmm, were there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and we're beyond <laughs> thankful from a horror fan that we are there. So. Because let me tell you, I still I got out. No when I meet some other people that are also appearing at conventions, like this last one, Connors. we got to meet um, the cast from Nightbreed. Huh. And I, was, I, I did not know what to do with myself. I was like, where do my hands go? The, you know, we're the, still just nerds ourselves. The, the, there's a convention in, in existence that... All right. There's a convention in, in the in existence that has the owner has a very Midian, yeah, horrible. No, I wouldn't say horrible. It had, they call us something. They call us something. They they have a name for us. And when we found out what it was, I was like, "Wow, that's a cool nickname." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, yeah. "Wow, like that's that's really cool." So it's it's in one ear out the other. It's 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 nothing it's nothing like we 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 do our own thing and we love doing our own thing and sometimes yeah. we dance to a different drum than most people and you know what david michael cool. asks a really good question he says when you guys do conventions and we want to buy something is it cash only uh it wasn't always but it is now we have taken we've bought the card readers and stuff you know we've bought the cheap ones we've bought the expensive ones and there's always some issue. Um, so we've just stopped bringing those with us because half the time it's the reception and yeah. the convention halls. Sometimes there is no Wi-Fi at all. Um, and overseas. At least that these readers can pick up on anyway. Um, so what we've started doing is um, cash is always fantastic because I'll have change for you guys. Um, and some of the payment apps like PayPal and Cash App or uh, Venmo and stuff like that. Because if I can get reception on my phone, then that's awesome. But sometimes even that is problematic. And those little card readers that people have that you can buy almost always like break or just don't work at all. So we've stopped using those. So Dee Dee. Your mom is awesome. You and your mom are awesome. She said, my mom is listening. And she said, F them. You guys are the best and most wonderful people to us. We love you guys. We love every single one of you, especially when you come up. I, I absolutely hate. I'm not going to say I hate. It breaks my heart whenever somebody says, I saw you from across the room or I saw you, but I was too nervous about coming up and saying hi. We want you to come up and say hi. Not because it's like, look at us. It's just. We're all family. Like we, we, we love you guys. We, 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 if you see us ever. Oh, thank you. Great guy. Say you hello. Even if it's so just sweet. a hello and it, it's a goodbye. Thank you. Shannon, when we saw you at Monster Palooza, it was so fun. We had a blast meeting you and putting a name, putting a face to the name. And you got yeah. to see a part of Jessica that, that no nobody one ever, ever gets, gets to, to see. see. Yeah. Me and me and costume, me being, uh, getting to sit in. And for those of you wondering where we are in the movie, we're on. at one hour, 27 minutes, and 35 seconds. So, yeah, we don't let it get to us. Yeah. And sadly, sometimes when we are when we don't have our own We table, love you too, Alice, and your family. We are often um, there for specific mm -hmm. reasons. And if you catch us um, when we're walking by really fast and we can't stop, it's because we have to get some place specifically that's time sensitive and we always feel bad that we can't stop and say hi and take pictures but know that it, there's a reason we're not just like running away from people we're we're trying to uh usually link up and uh 
and do meetings and things like Amanda that. Amanda says she met us in Pittsburgh and she gave us the friendship bracelets. I remember you and we still have them. I and do. You were absolutely I do. so sweet and highlight of yeah. my year. I like how you said year. I think mine was orange. Thank you, Amanda. Mine was a little bit different. Or, no, they were the same. I think they were. I can't remember if they were the same or not. I think I remember seeing them. David Bird, we met you as well. Joe on film, thank you. What's the all right, Sam Diaz says? What's the most ex, ex, most expensive spooky related item you guys own? Okay, so horse is a horse, of course, of course. I would say. I mean, most of our money is in things that have signatures, like all right, signed. The posters. thing that we spent the most money on. The thing that we spent them oh. so yeah, so we, 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 we have a lot of signatures like signed items and posters and stuff like that. Our most recent acquirement beats yeah. everything. But the the thing that we spent the most money on was an original Clive Barker painting, mm -hmm. and we actually bought two, mm -hmm. so it kind of upped it up. But we we did a show in Chicago, Days of the Dead, and Clive yeah. Barker was there, and we got to meet him. Yeah, so and we have Zell we bought too. two of his original art pieces. And you're going to see those in a video coming up. We get asked all the time, can you please do a tour of your your your, your place? Um, Our place is always trash, guys. We're not going to do like a walking tour. But yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to set the camera up and we're going to showcase some of the things that we have collected. No, we don't really collect screen used items or anything like I that. I wish. I don't have that kind of pocket money. Instead, it's Lord. just different autographs and things that, of people that we've worked with yeah, or people that we've met or we made an appearance with. Um, we, we have some very unique things that we're going to show you. So Grim Life Collective, things that we have no, Deborah, in our we're collection. We're almost at the end of our, our live it. chat. The movie is almost over, I think. We were at Disney. Disneyland for the solar eclipse. We didn't watch it. We didn't see it. Just a couple yes, no actually uh, captivated Nightshade. I, I think I only have a couple of copies of Dracula, the actual book, because of a few different. Um, <laughs> we don't have a house cleaner or a maid. Although me instant defense, it's me. Uh, not instant defense. Uh, who was who said that? Oh, yeah, instant defense. We don't. Um, although we if we had a bigger place, maybe we would hire somebody to come in and like help us clean. Yeah, because I hate dust. Them baseboards and stuff like For that. For some reason, dust here in California, everything gets dusty so quickly. Like, and uh, it, it's the craziest thing. Like Especially we, that damn sliding glass door. We have a sliding glass door, mm -hmm. and if we don't clean anything, Hi, all of a sudden we have like dust or like dirt on the floor. Well, like, and it's like, where did all this that, come from? But the the track itself, because it goes out to a balcony, is always gummed up from all like. Thank you, kindly. <laughs> the dust and stuff from outside, and it annoys me to no end. This is uh, Tim Curry from Legend. As a North Californian, I agree, right? Like, I've, I've lived in Pittsburgh. I lived in Florida. I lived in Atlanta. Um, I've been all over the place. Oh, so sorry. But for some reason, it's just, there's always dust. Sleepies. Or, like, dirt particles, like, here. And it just, it, it is what it is. Dust and bones. I'll take payment and hugs. Sliding glass doors in Florida, too. Oh, yeah. We experienced that when we lived in Florida. All the sand. God. So much sand. Everywhere. All the time. Could never get away from it. David, Michael, I'm going to Universal Studios in That's July. Awesome, and I'll be wearing your merchandise. Hoping so to cool. run into you guys. July. We won't be home here in July. And we live not too far. I mean, Universal Studios is just over the hill from us. We actually have a dent in the hood of our car because we got hit by a ginormous. Um... Oh, Ricky Darrow, called? you'll see it in the video. A tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. I don't think we were in Texas when it happened. I think we were in like Arizona, but those things are huge. 
And of course, the part that hit us the hardest was the root. Had a nice size divot in our hood. Thank you, Ruben Boogie on. We are dope. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. Yeah. Looking forward to New Jersey Horror Con. This is yeah. Tina next Sunday. I hope to meet you both. We will be there all three days. And Tina, hope to see you there. Just found my pen. Left in the couch. Do you think somebody could ever convince someone to do an Adventureland style zombie movie at Kennywood? Um, no idea. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Beetlejuice. So Beetlejuice 2, we are excited for. But I actually think that I am more excited for two movies. There's two movies that I'm really excited for. Maxine and uh, Nosferatu, the new um, Robert Eggers movie, Nosferatu. Yeah. Those are the two that I'm looking forward to The tumbleweeds are basically... Ruben Boogie on! Plants Tip 999! ...been pulled out of the ground because of high winds. So imagine, imagine a bush flying at your face at a really high wind. Thank you, Ruben Boogie on. And the part that hits you is the stem, the yes, root. Sam so you're Diaz. basically getting hit by a tree branch at a very high velocity. And yeah, it'll take your face off. Take your face off. Shrubbery? Shrubbery? Shabre? Yeah, I'm a bit burnt out on, on zombie and clown movies. Although, did, for those of you who have um, Netflix, have you seen the new series? It's a series, I think it is, of um, the Parasite. Do you remember the, the PlayStation game Parasite Eve? It's a... It's a um, oh. It I looks don't... really good. Like, I want to watch it. Yeah. Man, no, I, wanna... I think they're making another witch, if I remember correctly. That they're he is looking into making a second one. I don't know if it's going to be connected to the first so storyline. Joker though. movie too. I want to see the new Halo show. Also, speaking of Fallout, diabetes. Huh. Hello, Eugenio. No, we haven't met Michael Keaton, I wish. Is it called Parasite Eve? Is that called Parasite something? No, the video game is called Parasite Eve. No. Well, Darcy E., what's your thoughts on the new Crow movie? Oh, we've already touched on that. We've one. touched on this one quite a bit. Yeah, I am. Same John and stuff. We can't talk about it. Uh. We're not allowed to talk about it. I mean, we can say what we. F no, we're not allowed to talk about it. We're just going to say that we're going to keep it safe because we are uh, in the media, so to speak. But we're, we're, we cannot. Were we're, the, we're just not excited about your it. Spider web tattoos were there? Were those ouchy? Uh just this little bit, just this little tiny bit right there. Everything else was was not, but just this little like this little corner. No, I'm not scared of clowns. I, <sighs> I'm defense. just so tired, baby, baby. of them, baby. Instant defense has crossed over <gasps> into the afterlife. <sighs> Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We have been expecting you, instant defense. <laughs> Things you must keep in mind. Watch out for those pesky ghostbusters. They do not like your kind. They have little woozy woozy things that make you go capture, oh capture, and then they stick you into a machine, never to be seen again How until the next. How many pairs of Disney ears do, do I own? Do you think, Michael? How many ears? Yeah. Uh, yeah, like. She like seven thousand. No, she's. I, I'm gonna say probably like 20, 20 25. No, way more. Fifty thousand, fifty nine thousand. I think I probably have somewhere between. Hello, Juanita. Brooks. Uh, uh, 
I probably have about mm. 30. It's cozy. Or more. It's cozy in the chat, Doug says. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Anita. <laughs> See? Jack Burton. Robbie Suede 13, we used to have a Switch. So back in the day, in the early-ish days of the Grim Life Collective, uh, when we were living in Florida, we would do Her some booty. gaming. And we had a Twitch channel, and we would try Ugh. to go live on this. It never now, worked out. Here's a question for you. Here's a little bit of Grim Life Collective trivia for those of you. For those who have been around for quite some time mm -hmm. who know this, mm -hmm. when I say baby in a ladder, what am I referring to? What video oh game am I referring to when I say baby and a ladder? This Baby's goes back to old Grim Life Collective. It was an experiment. You know, you're always trying to do different things. What video game... We are actually still looking for that certain one. So, you know, wow, that's that's an old one. This is a hard one. Some people might get it. Baby and a ladder. It was one of the most frustrating. I can't even remember the name of it anymore. You have to remember the name of it. I do. I okay. do. It's past my bedtime. I'm really tired for some reason. My my caffeine crashed. It wore so, off. Aha! Back in the day, whenever we would do no, these Twitch okay. gamings, uh, we started playing Friday the 13th, the game, uh, and also a game called Death Stranding. And uh -huh. Death Stranding, I was so excited about playing yeah. this game. And you, you basically were playing, and I got so frustrated on where to put the baby in a ladder, ladder and a baby, later, and it, yeah. it became a thing. Like for like an hour, we're sitting there like going off on the so baby and a ladder. Yeah. And it became a thing. Some people are like, oh no, it's the it's the baby and the ladder all over again. Elvis Stooges would know. Is I he here? Like. No, I don't think so. Good day, mate. From Mark and Narell in Sydney, Australia. Love your show. Good night, At mate. some point, Mark, you might find us down in Australia. I can't wait. Oh, it seems so hot down there. I'm afraid of the Kangaroo is going to punch me in the face. Haunted. Any plans to tour more haunted houses this season? Yes. We are in talks with some some haunts. Uh, we have very specific guidelines that we're trying. Uh, we're trying to make something happen. Last of Us was good. I never played the game. That's a lie. I played it for like 10 minutes and I got frustrated and quit. Yeah, so um, The Last of Us, right? Yeah. We hate video games where we die. Yeah. We don't we don't want to die. We just want to have fun. I, of course, I still like Bluey. Yes, I love Bluey. It makes me happy. Michael has such a great memory. He can I'm remember so, so many names of actors and directors in many places. I'm hella jealous of your brain. Not all the time, David. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get there. But I usually get there. Too many giant spiders. Thank you. Ooh. I'm more hungry than anything else. Like when I'm, I'm when nice and done, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some food. I'm sleepy. Blair Witch or It Escape Room? I would actually say Blair Witch. Right? Like I mean the It Escape Room is pretty intense. It's so much fun. I feel like I the the reason why I would pick no, Blair over It is because oh. I really like the theming a lot more. Um the it is really like being in the sets of it. I mean, it's, it's incredible. But I found I found oh. the puzzles to be a lot more enjoyable in Blair Witch. Um, I actually had a hard time with some of the ones in it. Um, and the ones with Blair Witch, you can have a smaller party. But with it, you have to have at least four people or more, which can be a little frustrating. But, oh, my God, the scenery, though, in it is really, really worth it to go through. But if I were to do, if I, I, w I think Blair Witch would be the one I would do more repeatedly mm. because it has a spookier, like, Halloween feeling. And it is just, like, it's impressive in a different way. 
With that being said, Jenny says baby ghoul I is sleepy. Eepy, sleepy. Um, I am. My we have we have reached the like... end of we have reached the end of our grim up all night showing of the thing. It's a hangout as well as a watch party. Uh, if you're a Ghost Club member, this is your time. For Ghost Club members, above all, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all my little ghosties. Tuesday night is going to be your uh, Ghost Club Ghost Club members only hangout. Mm -hmm. Probably Tuesday night at eight o'clock. So keep an eye out for that. Clear your schedules. Put the baby to bed early. Put grandma to bed early. Stay up extra late. Call off work. I don't care. Make sure you're there. Don't nice call off you. work. Call off work. Don't. Go to work, but say, oh, I got to go to the bathroom and spend like the next hour and a half in the bathroom stall watching the, 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 the up all night. Um, but one of the perks of being a Ghost Club member is you get early access to videos. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., a, this this video that you're about to watch is going to go live for everybody else. But if you're a Ghost Club member, you get to watch it now. So I'm going to, uh, I got everything right here. I'm not going to show you what it is. And I'm going to get it ready to make it live for you guys. Thank you, Jeremiah. Members only. Ghost Club and higher. Save, I think, yeah. Are you guys ready? Oh, Jeremiah's joined TTFN and happy Halloween. See you all Tuesday. Have a good night, Jeremiah. This one is for you guys. Enjoy. We'll see you all tomorrow. Happy Halloween. Kylie, yes, 10 months, but been here for years. Love you both so much more than you know. Thank you. All right. The video is live. For Ghost Club members. For Ghost Club members only. Have a good night, guys. Happy Halloween. Mm.